Yo, what's going on guys? It's time for, of course, another puzzle. Today I'm going to be reviewing and assembling a puzzle from a company called A2 Play. They actually sent me, as you can see here, three different puzzles. And I will do a video on all three of these, um, but today's video is only going to be about the Jupiter mission. This is a series that you could buy the puzzles individually or you can buy them together, all three as a set. Uh, I will put a link in the description below for that. Um, but this is what they're calling their space trilogy. And the first one is the uh, solar system. We got the astronaut and Jupiter mission. Uh, so I'm going to start with Jupiter mission. Uh, I really think this astronaut one's cool. And the only reason I'm not starting with that one today is because it is a vertical puzzle. And right now I don't want to have to reset everything to accommodate a vertical puzzle. And I think the solar system is super awesome too. But I just kind of liked the little uh, spaceship in this one. So I want to see what that looks like once it's... Um, assembled in a larger format. Um, in the theme of space, I wore my uh, galaxy print shirt and the reason I call this the galaxy shirt is if you look at closely it might be hard to tell on this t-shirt print. Here is the pillow I have. Uh, my face is actually made up of the galaxy. It's like an actual photo of the galaxy. So. Thought it'd be cool to go full space theme. If you want to get this pillow or this shirt or any of these items behind me, uh, I have all that stuff on my merch shop, themelvinshop.com. Um, it's available t shirts, hoodies, tank tops, uh, tights, pillows, blankets, a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, so go and check that stuff out. But let's go ahead and get into the puzzle and see what's inside the box. Let's see how they. Uh, put this all together for us. Actually, let me show it over here real quick so you can get a little bit better view here of the puzzle. Ugh. Sorry, I'm knocking stuff over. The box is a nice box. It's a gloss uh, finished box here. And on the back of the box, it actually has uh, a lot more info about the puzzle and the company. Uh, they give you a little coupon for the store. That's pretty cool. If you find a piece missing, they'll replace the puzzle, no questions asked. So that's really nice. And they've included a poster print of the uh, puzzle. So that makes it a little bit easier to assemble uh, as a reference. And on the back, it has a whole bunch of uh, additional information. I'm not going to read through all of that, but um, a lot of educational information, which is pretty cool. So. I'm going to actually set my reference up here to the top since the box is kind of at an angle. It's not really going to be uh, utilized as a reference for this puzzle. Let's get to the actual pieces. Mm -hmm. All right. And again, since there's not really much to reference off the box, I'm just going to set the box off to the side to give myself more space and just use the uh, print. It is a 1,000 piece puzzle. I believe the dimensions of it are like 18 or 19 inches, similar to what I typically do. Um, I don't see that here, but I know when I accepted the puzzle from them that it, it was basically, it fits within the parameters of what I usually do. One plus already for him. 
very minimal puzzle dust. So I like that. And the quality of the pieces, now I'll have to, to confirm with them, but this looks similar to what was on the uh, Cobble Hill prints and that was uh, the linen paper. Uh, again, I'll have to confirm that, but the uh, quality of the print is really nice. You can actually see a, a, a texture on the paper. Uh, the back side of the pieces are done in white and it's also like a smooth finish. Um, and I do see for the most part that most of these pieces are broken up. There are a handful of them that are together, um, but yeah. So for my separating strategy on this one, uh, I'm gonna do the normal and basically put all my side pieces off to the side here um, to assemble those first. And then after uh, that, I'll probably move on to the spaceship second and then, any, and then the planet and then all the leftover space. So I'm gonna separate it out by probably splitting all the uh, pieces for the uh, spaceship to one tray and um, all the planet to another tray. And then anything in, in addition to that will go on the last tray. After that, whether or not I break them down by puzzle shape piece, uh, we will see. All right, so let's go ahead and get to uh, separating these all out.
All right, down to the last handful of pieces. I've got about nine more to go. And then I will be done with this puzzle. Again, this puzzle came from a company by the name of A2Play. And I will have a, a link to this puzzle below as well as the uh, other two puzzles that I showed at the beginning of the video because this is a three-part um, puzzle. They call it the Space Trilogy. You can buy these individually or you can buy them all three together as a uh, package set. Let's get a top-down shot of this real quick. There we go. There is Jupiter mission. All right, so let's talk about a few things about this puzzle. Uh, the quality of the pieces is very nice. Um, one thing to note about it though is that while they do lock in pretty good, it's kind of a little bit loose. So if I was to even attempt to try to pick this puzzle up, you can tell it's already kind of breaking, which is fine. Um, but uh, just try to point everything out about each one that I can. Um, other than that, it's a great puzzle. The, the little uh, poster here was nice. Um, one of the things I thought was kind of cool is as I started putting it together and looking closer in detail, it almost looks like this was a, like a drawing or an illustration. Initially, I thought it was some sort of like, uh, I don't even know what I was thinking, but you can actually see the detail of like the strokes from like a, whether it was done digitally or uh, on a computer or somebody painted this, I, I don't know. Um, but the detail in it is just really cool seeing all the detail in here and uh, so yeah So I'll probably do the other two puzzles um, In a few weeks. I've got a handful of other ones to review ahead of those uh, And yeah, let me go ahead and mention that too So I do appreciate the puzzle companies so far that have been sending me puzzles and uh, I'm always looking for more. So if you or your company have a puzzle that you would perhaps like to send me to do a review on, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me in the uh, contact info that I have listed below. Um, and even if it's not puzzles, I am you know, interested in reviewing other products or other uh, gadgets, devices, what have you, um, even clothing and apparel, what, whatnot. If you would like to send me something, uh, I'd be more than happy to hear from you and see how we can collaborate on a video or project of some sort. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I haven't always done the puzzle videos. Uh, this is something I actually started doing earlier this year. Uh, and if you want to check out more of those, you can click the link above. Um, I've done approximately 20 puzzles at this point, I believe, and I'll continue doing them. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a uh, image up of 15 puzzles that are of my own photography prints. I'm not going to do those right away, but I want you guys to keep voting on those. So check that out at the end of the video and tell me in the comments which puzzle you think I should start that series off with. Um, of the 15 puzzles and then I'll continue going through all 15 of those but those are on hold for now while I continue doing the reviews but I at least want you guys to start voting uh, but yeah I guess that's about it really so if you're new to my channel please give this video a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you're not already um, and hit the little bell in the bottom corner so that you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video I will see you guys in the next video. Later.